Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And uh, on the docket for today's video is something a little different that we usually get to do kind of once a year. And uh, it's it's legitimately one of my favorite things to do now with, um, I guess the word is collecting, but it's, it's more of just a hobby. It's like, obviously, I like manga. I love anime and stuff like that. But when you get to expand it and really build on that... Uh, it's just like it's become one of my favorite things to do and that is when I get the chance to like go to a con and meet a voice actor and get like a specific item like that is yours and get it like personalized or just signed or there's something just so unique and special to me about that that I've, I've always loved it and uh, we've seen some of the other stuff I've gotten signed at the con uh, I go to every year from from various different years, but this year in particular was was pretty fun and special because it was a weird con. It wasn't there, there wasn't much going on to tell you the truth. There wasn't a whole hell of a lot to do this year. Uh, there weren't as many merch vendors as usual. Um, almost all of the guests were virtual, when usually it's it's pretty you know split. But luckily for me. Um, especially luckily for me, uh, there were two voice actors that were there this year and they were Molly Searcy and Aaron Campbell. And combined with the factors of like the days like were a little slow, like these aren't mega superstar voice actors, although that usually doesn't make a difference, but for whatever reason, like they didn't seem to be in super high demand. Um, I hope they did well selling their prints because I bought a couple prints at their table, as you can see. Um, but there's always a free signing every year on Saturday. And usually there's a decent line, but it was hot outside. And there just didn't seem to be as many people there as usual um, for some reason. But anyway, there weren't many people lining up. And so... I bought it. I bought. I brought a decent amount of stuff with me to sign, and I'm not joking when I tell you I went through the line. I think four times, and they were so nice <laughs> to indulge me uh, and just like chat and shoot the shit and uh, and just goof off every time I came through uh, because I came with a bunch of stuff and I'm a little bummed now that they had so much free time. I wish one of the things I had brought with me instead. Um, was the Coming to Kill box set, because that would have been a cool thing um, to get signed as well. But at the same time, how many things do you need to get signed? I mean, you don't need a million things. I'm, I am more than lucky with the ridiculous amount of stuff I got signed already. But, but one of the funny things is, I literally, in the middle of it, got all my stuff signed. And I was like, I'm bored and there's nothing to do with the con. I wonder if I could make it to Books A Million find something else for them both to sign and make it back in time for their hour to have still not been up. And I did. I got two more volumes of manga and made it back with like seven minutes to spare. <laughs> I was very proud of myself. Um, and so, yeah, they were just, it was just fun. And uh, Aaron um, isn't, doesn't have as many big roles. Uh, and so I was just more familiar and more excited in general to get stuff from Molly, obviously. Just kind of just kind of how it goes. It depends on what you're in. Um, but like a couple of the like the things she signed for me, like were so cool. Like I don't know why, but like every time I went through, she'd just like sign it like more like extravagantly or like take up the whole cover. It was just funny. Um, and so I'll go through like I'll tell you what my favorites are because I've been rambling long enough. Let's do these prints first because I'm afraid they're gonna fall over on me. Um, so here's the coolest thing I probably got. Well, I don't know. Here's the th one of the things I got from Aaron. So this is the print he was selling. Uh, this is a really nice looking print. I actually want to go watch this show now. I haven't seen it. Um, it's a show called Banished from the Heroes Party. I decided to live a quiet life in the countryside. So this show looks really cute. And I was able, very luckily, to find a volume of manga as well to go along with this to get signed of my own. So I was really happy that I was able to do that on the second run through when I met him. So here's probably my favorite thing Molly, uh, my favorite character Molly has voiced. I love um, Centauria. I just, I love her to death. Now, this is, she had a, uh, she had like a sky blue print and then this, and this like different variant color print. I don't know why I picked this one. I'm like, oh, it'll go better on my wall, but I liked the blue one more. So anyway, I'm stupid. But anyway, this is still an awesome print. I love it. And uh, she, there's like the, she's got, um, I almost said lyrics. That's not the word. A quote from, um, from the show on the side there. 
this is an awesome print. Like I said, Centauria was, uh, is my favorite character from Monster Mizumi. So the fact that she was at PortCon was awesome. And I was really happy about it. And then I really liked this print. I wasn't necessarily planning on getting more than one or a different character other than Centauria of the print she had. Uh, but this print is fantastic. She had another print she said that was new that she had just gotten. That was also amazing. Um, I really, I really kind of wish I had gotten it. But at the same time, I got her to sign so much stuff that did I really need it? I didn't need it, but the print itself was just so cool that uh, would have been worth it in the end. But anyway, this print also just looks super nice. Very happy to have it. I'm actually gonna save these two for last because they are probably my favorite. Uh, so here's my only other signed item from Aaron. I was so happy I was able to find this volume um, at Books A Million. I, so the night before their free signing, uh, I had met them at the con on Friday and they were so awesome. I was like, I have to have something for him to sign. And I'm like looking, I'm like, I've got 3000 volumes of manga. I have to have something for him to sign. <laughs> I mean, I have some anime too. And like, he's like a character in One Piece, but I don't really know One Piece very well. So I'm like, oh, I don't know. So I'm like, well, then I looked up the show. I'm like, oh, it's got a light novel. I can't find a light novel anywhere in stock. And then I'm like, oh, the volume of the manga just came out. It just came out. And then I realized they, they have one in stock in the Books A Million that is a 30-minute walk from where the convention is held. And I'm like, I've got to get there bright and early and buy this manga because I have to have it. And it's, it's an awesome looking manga as well. The cover looks awesome. I want to read it. So I was just super happy to be able to get that. This is the other... Um, this is one of the volumes I ran over like halfway through the signing to go grab. Um, and I was so happy I did because this volume is gorgeous. And uh, so this is from the case study of Venitas Van Venitas. So hold on. Right. Right. So this is from the same creator as Pandora Hearts. Now I read Pandora Hearts back in high school so long ago. I don't remember it very well. I remember really liking it. <laughs> but uh, I've always wanted to read. I don't know if it's just. Uh, I don't know if it's a sequel. A sister story. Totally separate. I have no idea. But I've always wanted to get into this author's other work. I don't know why I haven't. But now after meeting Molly. I am so excited to. Like I am so excited to start reading this manga now. Um, but anyway, this volume is gorgeous, and uh, it was an awesome one to get signed. This is the uh, the other one I, I got in the middle of uh, of the signing. No, I actually have this volume already, <laughs> but uh, but no, it's fine. I was like, I'll buy it again. They're doing a buy a buy to get one free. I almost brought it with me, but I was like, nah, I don't want to be greedy and bring more than three items because they probably won't have time to do more than three items. Um, they did. They had four times. So this is uh this one just is a really pretty cover. Um, of this volume in particular. And the black signature went really well on it. So I really like this one a lot. Um, one thing I should mention. On some of these there are actually signatures on the inside as well. Uh, I don't think I'll bother showing you them. Because I went to the line. And then I was like man. Because I signed them on the covers. And then being the stupid like. Hard. Bad social skills. You know anxiety person I am. They started signing them on the inside of the covers, and I just didn't say anything. And I was like, oh, I kind of wanted them on the covers. But a normal person would have been like, oh, hey, actually, could you sign the cover? Uh, I, that's actually what I, what I wanted. And that, they would have been like, oh, yeah, sure, that's totally fine. Me, I just went with it. But anyway, they are so awesome. I was like, I went to the line the second time. I was like, hey, could you sign the covers instead? And they were like, uh, yeah, that's really easy to do we can absolutely do that for you um so that was just really funny so getting on to um a couple of my favorite sign things now i will have to also dig out the box set because i had her the monster mizumi uh, limited edition i think it's called i didn't know what i wanted her to sign on it um i almost wish i had her sign the box but man nah, at the same time i'm kind of happy I'm kind of happy with it either way. I'm not too fussed about it. But I did have her sign the, like, the special pinup booklet on the inside. So I can show you that as well. 
Okay, so here's the pinup booklet that comes with the special edition version of Monster Mizumi. Now, I don't really care if I get demonetized here. We're, we're just going to risk it for the biscuit because who cares? There is a... Hello, Centoria. Good God. Uh, but here's her signature on this on this one here. Uh, she added some little hearts in there, which is adorable. Uh, but I did get that to go along with the box set. So one thing that's awesome about this is that uh, it's a great thing to have other voice actors to sign. Um, and it can all be in one booklet if I meet other voice actors from um, that uh, from Monster Mizumi. So here we go with uh, my favorite two pieces. So I love this cover. So this is from like the Monster Mizumi like like side stories like one. It's not from the, it's not the main series volume. And I love the art of Centauria on this one. It is just so cool. And then Molly's signature on this one is awesome like it's huge it covers the whole thing that gold pen is just so great and so i really like this one but this one might be my favorite because i think i had her sign the cover of this one on like my third or fourth time through the line well there was no line i just walked up again because they were sitting there with not much else to do so like this one signed on the inside cover as well but um they were they were so nice to talk to and then so I had her sign this one again and she was just like doing like little flourishes on it or whatever and then she that look, look, look down here and then she just did like heart you Joe and just my heart like once I like after I finished and like left and like I looked at it like it just makes my heart go doki doki I'm like that is adorable so adorable so sweet and so really cool and that's the stuff I got signed at the con just uh <laughs> I know it's just two voice actors and it's just like all this stuff, but I don't know. I get such a, such, I don't know, enjoyment and fun out of getting stuff I bought personalized by like art, like, um, artists associated with the work, even if they didn't write it or whatever, you know, they're obviously, they, they voice the characters and stuff. So it is just really fun. Uh, I have some cool pictures I've taken of this on my, um, on my sign shelf and, uh, I'd like, I'm like running out of room everywhere, but I need, um, I need like a new sign shelf as well, just because I'm, I'm running out of so much room. But anyway, guys, this video has probably gone on a little too long. I apologize for rambling, but anyway, uh, I've got a bunch of back stuff recorded to edit and upload. I don't know where this will be in that timeline, but we shall see. Anyways, again, huge thank you to Molly and Aaron and, uh, get up to cons guys. It's pretty fun. So anyway, I've been Fiddle Ferret and I'll see you back on the prom next time. Peace. I tried to say peace and see you at the same time. I can't even I can't even say my own outro. <laughs> I, I don't I don't know. <laughs>